All right, y'all. Um, first off, excuse me. Like, excuse my hair. I pinned up my hair, and I am about ready for bed, honestly. Um, I just figured I would do this video before I pass out. Um, it is going to be... Um, it's going to be a little bit different, because it originally was going to be like an October favorites or hit or misses or whatever. But then I was like, why don't I... I also, I'm going to do that, too and things that um, I plan on trying for November. So, um, and then it's, you know, kind of like a sneak peek or a preview of what I'm using now or I want to start using so that um, I'm going to see how they work for the next few weeks. And then um, in the end of November, I'll be able to tell y'all straight up, like I liked it or I hated it or whatever it is. So the things that I've been using, I try not to do things that I've, saw I showed in my last October favors or whatever my last favors was and a lot of this stuff is still the stuff I use now um, but I did want to use something that um, show some stuff that was different so um, as far as face I'll start with uh, my eyebrows I still use my little positions formula um, brow pencil and it's the brow definer um, so it looks like this Looks like this and I use brown depending on where I'm going if I'm going out I use brown um, the dark brown um, and then if I'm using if I'm like everyday type thing and I don't want to do too much makeup I'll use the brown beige so um, I use that over um, for my brows and I'm doing good y'all because at first my brows like however they were when I got them arched that's how they were I mean for the whole week two three weeks whatever because I don't know I didn't know how to do brows like I would fill them in but I wouldn't like put them like do the whole you know powder and then like the brow gel and I, I didn't know how to do all that because to me as long as it was arch I was good um so yeah I've been loving those um I've always had a problem with the you know how like girls and you can tell when they like wear mac or something like that they their brows look like perfect like they were airbrushed or something and then you have like that little they have that light color that goes right under their brow and it's like real subtle well because I'm light skin like I never feel like I can do that because everything blended in with my skin tone like even though the colors were like two shades lighter than my foundation they still blended in so it was like what's the point so I never did it but I actually started using this Sally Henson um, concealer and it's actually in medium which I didn't know that maybe that's why it's blending in um, it's in medium and it's just like a little cream like that and I got this from Ulta a long time ago but they stopped selling it so I'm not sure what who still sells it it's the natural beauty um, collection I am doubt you'll be able to see that um, but it's called the fast fix concealer um, and I just use that with a little brush like uh, this it looks like a little small concealer brush it's dirty but I've been using that just put a little bit under my brow and call it a day um now what I'm one of those type of people that I have a lot of makeup if you look at my video from like 10 15 videos ago you'll see my makeup collection and yeah I have a lot of makeup so I will not go out and buy it excuse me I won't go out and buy it unless I figure that I have nothing like that at home so I'm gonna keep using concealers that I have like a stick concealer because my eyes are so dry under my eyes so I can't use the uh, those concealers under my eyes so I feel like I'm too so I want y'all to see okay make sure I wouldn't show up but um yeah I just I'm, I'm one of those like I'm gonna keep using stuff that I have at home until I just can't do anything else but buy something else because I have so much makeup so eyeliners Unless they're liquid eyeliners, things like that. I just use the stuff I have at home. But anyway, that was that what I was trying to get to. Um eyeshadow primers. I'm still using my elf primer. I'm still using my milk um jumbo pencil. For those who does not look like know what that looks like, this is what the jumbo pencil looks like. Um, and this is in the color milk. The only reason I get this one is because it can go with anything. It doesn't matter what color you're using. Now, if you have a certain color that you're trying to accomplish, like a certain color scheme on your eyeshadow. Then I will use a base that's that color. Like if you're doing pinks, I would get a pink pencil. I don't know if they have those, but if they do, 
I would get that. If you're using green, they have green jumbo pencils, anything like that. It doesn't actually have to be NYX. It can be an actual eyeliner. So if you have a creamy eyeliner that you don't use for whatever reason, put that under there as a base. And if you if it's too hard, rub it on your skin, like draw on your skin a little bit, like in the... Anyway, draw on your skin, rub it in, and then what it does is it emulsifies it so it makes it a little bit creamier. So you can just pat it on your eye and blend it in. So anyway, that wasn't what I was trying to do. But a couple of the eyeshadows that I've been loving is my Vanity Palette. Um, because I'm so light, I've been using these two colors, right? These two colors right here and blend them together and then create my crease color or my blending color. Right now it looks really retarded, but it's not that dark, not as dark as it looks like there. Um, I'm using my Lust palette, which is the one with the purples. This is my favorite color. This one right here. That's my favorite color. Right, that that purple. And then I've been using the heck out of this CoverGirl palette. I have no idea what the name of this is. But I believe they still sell it. So it's like a lime green, I mean a blue, a teal, orange, and lime green. And I don't know what, it says 205. So you see right here, it says 205 right there. Excuse my nails too. Um, I've also been using this NYC Jet Black Eyeliner just because like I use my liquid elf liner on the top and then on the bottom I have to use an actual pencil liner so I've been using that. Um, my lashes, I have been grabbing this for the longest and it's the Maybelline Pulse Perfection Mascara. Basically what it is, it's a mascara brush with a plastic wand and if you can hear it, it vibrates. And what it does, it, you know how you're supposed to shake your lashes and like pull them up at the same time. It just kind of elongates the lashes. That's what this is doing. But it's I use it more so on the the bottom part of my lashes or closest to my lash line. And I just use it there for a while and then I kind of bring it up. And it kind of really coats that. It makes it a lot thicker. Um, I love this mascara. I've been using this for like at least two weeks straight. Um, can you see my lashes? Okay, whatever. But they've been, work they've been working really well. And this is actually a dupe for, I think it's Givenchy, has um, uh, actual mascara like this. And either Givenchy or one, it's another, it's a department store makeup. I'm not sure, but it's like $30 or something like that. And this is only like $7 or $8 from Ulta or wherever you get your mascaras from. Um, lipstick, I have been loving this combination. I use my Jordana lip liner in number 22 which is natural get it from Walgreens Rite Aid I don't know um, Houston doesn't have any Rite Aids and I've been loving my Viva Glam too I got this from the CCO or whatever they call them um, and I got it for ten dollars and it's going to be the one that's like red and black so this is Viva Glam too and I've been loving that um, I've been loving this uh, this I'm, I'm gonna start going all over the place I don't want this video to be over 15 minutes because yeah so this hair milk by Carol's daughter, I stole it from my mom. I have the Genesis Virgin Brazilian hair in and like towards the ends, if I feel like they're dry, I'll put this on there, put a little heat to it and it kind of definitely, it definitely helps a lot. Um, hold on one second. Okay, it's my boyfriend. He can, he can wait for a second. Um, for uh, face brushes, I've been having a lot of brushes I've been using a lot. These black and white brushes that I got from Sonia Kashik, um, they were $14.99 for the brush. The reason why I got it was for this brush right here. It came with um, a couple other eyeshadow brushes, but I love this brush. It's like a cone powder blush brush versus like this one, actually. These are a lot of powder brushes look like this. And this is by the... Um, Real Techniques, and this is by Samantha Chapman, which is also his fellow YouTuber. Um, and I like them because they stand up. You can't see it right here. But basically, it stands up, and it's like a flat surface right here. So it can stand up on any flat surface like that. I don't do that because you have dust, and you have all this kind of stuff is in the air. Mm, I put it in the drawer. So, But this one is more of a cone, so it's able you're able to kind of get a little bit more powder wherever you're trying to put it at. 
like that one. And I was watching um, Milani 99 video and she had this four piece brush set by Eco Tools from Target for $14.99. And it came with three, four brushes, the little Kabuki versions. Kabuki just means it's going to be small. So it's like the tiny brushes versus my big, this is my big Kabuki brush. And these are all little mini Kabukis. So they all have different things. This is going to be like a stippling brush. Um, I use that for my foundation. Actually, what I've been doing lately, I dip a little bit of water in there. And then I just kind of put on my foundation, basically. I put a little water on there just to kind of make it a little bit more damp. Use this for concealer. I use this for bronzer or contouring. And I use this for my blush, which I love these. And $14 for all those. Pretty awesome. I've been using my Big Mama kit from the Bomb. Looks like this. I've been using Sexy or Bahama Mama, which is the or no, if I'm lying. I'm using Hot Mama, which is in the middle, which is the um, powder. I'm tripping. I mean the blush for foundation. I mean for skincare. And I will do a separate video about this because I am very prone to break out. Um, so it can be makeup. It can be not washing my face at night. It can be cell phone. Not, not wiping my cell phone off with alcohol pads because of makeup or whatever. Um, what I will say, this is just a quick little thing. I went to a dermatologist about a year ago. And what they, she told me is the different areas when people break out can kind of tell you why they're breaking out. So if you're breaking out right here, it's hormonal. So it can be from stress. Uh, if you're pregnant, if you're um, taking birth control, um, anything that has to do with your, like, hormones, your stress, I mean, anything like that. So, any womenly type things like that are going to, you're going to break out right here. If you're breaking on your cheeks or your forehead, it's going to be bacterial, meaning that it's oil that's been clogged up in your pores, meaning that you need to exfoliate, you need to, um, Wipe your, I mean, change your pillowcases. You need to keep your hair off your face. Keep your hair off your forehead. You need to um, uh, wipe your phone down. Um, just make sure you're cleansing your skin and have some type of skincare treatment or something that's going to detox or get like be, be like a detox for your face. So, um, on another note, I use for my daily thing, and I like to I break out right here, maybe one or two. I don't really have any big break. I have one right here and one right here. But the the rest of them are like ones that were appearing, but they're gone now. Um, I have two minutes left. I use this. Um, I got from T. Um, I got from where did I get this from? Oh, Target, and it was on sale for dollar ninety eight. It is Tea Tree Willow Bark. Um, their found no. This is their by Organics. I'm sorry. And this is their cleanser. They have this Radiance Coconut Mask that I love. And it is um, just a white mask you put on just to kind of give your skin a youthful glow. And I've been using the Tea Tree Willow Bark Lotion. And it has SPF of 15, I believe, in here. These are all I organics, but you can find them anywhere. Um, and I've also been using my Mint Julep Mask by Queen Helene or Queen Helen, whatever. Um, this is like three dollars for this huge ass container and what you do is wherever you break out out put this on there um, leave it on for about 30 minutes 45 minutes wipe it off or wash it off and then uh, put on you your like your daily thing whatever your skincare or whatever it is um, so I just wanted to show y'all that um, a couple things I'm gonna try this month I got my max match master foundation I have a 2.0 and then I got my finally got my fix plus, so I'll be using that and a couple other things I will be showing you in the next video. But that's all I want to talk about. So, if you have any questions, hit me up, whatever. Um, just wanted to give y'all a couple things that I'm liking this month and things I'll be using the rest of this month. So, that's all. Um, check out my giveaway. Bye.